Good morning. It's, I think, 7.30 a.m. Sunday, July 5th. And I'm making my first cup of coffee. Haven't had it yet. The security system goes off and it's a Bambi crossing the driveway. That's a nice way to start the day, I think. Don't you know? I, I think it's a nice way to start the day. All right, I'm gonna go have some coffee so I can speak a little more clearly maybe and be a little bit more awake, hopefully. All right, I'll be back. All right, it's just after lunch, I need, which I haven't eaten yet, so I still need to do that. Um, I got everything done today that I usually do on Monday, including my to-do list, which is mostly done, I think. It's fairly short this week. I'm thinking I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff, but I guess we'll see. Um, the vlog is loading right now to air on Wednesday. Um, Etsy order is going in the mailbox. Um, bunch of chores done. I'm ready for the appliance delivery people tomorrow. Uh, got a dentist appointment early in the morning, so hopefully they don't want to come when I'm supposed to be doing that. Don't really like going to the dentist every time I go now that I'm almost 60. They seem to find something else in my mouth that needs fixing. So, you know, there's that. I know some of you feel my pain. I know you do. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Okay, it's just a quiet Sunday. I think I said that already. Anyway, I had two small bottles of Art Resin. That's the brand, um, Art Resin brand resin. Um, it's a low odor resin. Anyway, um, I used them up. It, you know, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use it or lose it kind of thing, right? We're doing Project Pan Art Supply style. Was reminded by my friend Michelle Mitchell. Thank you, Michelle. Anyway, so I poured a second batch of little embellishments. We've got our first batch here that's dry, so they are working. I do also have some easy mold, so I think I'm gonna try to make a resin mold of buttons and see how that works. Rather than buying a mold, I'm gonna see if I can make a mold. I have plenty of um, molding compound, the two-part molding compound, and I got a giant box of buttons, let's be honest. So I'm gonna do that, and we're gonna let that dry, and then I will be back. So we're next to the woods, in case you all didn't know that, and we get these striped garter snakes in the yard. Sometimes they're yellow striped, like this one, sometimes they're red. Uh, they like the barbecue and they like the pond. Right now he's not too happy with me because I'm trying to get his picture. Oh, there he is. It's funny enough, I'm not that scared of snakes as long as they ain't rattling, I'm not scared. It's not a rattler. I know that, that's my point. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna leave him in peace. I don't have any problem with him as long as he stays outside. They eat bugs. Yeah, they eat bugs. He can eat the spiders, I'm good with that. In fact, there's one on the wall that might be what he's after. morning people we are in the car it's 7 41 a.m monday july 6th and i have a dentist appointment so we're gonna head out to do that and then the new washer and dryer come later today am i nervous about the dentist yeah covid19 hello and also you know every time i go now like i said before you know they find something new to fix so that's a thing anyway let's go get it done i'll be back okay Let's mask up and go in, get our temperature checked. And then at some point, I guess we have to take this off because I have to clean my teeth, but uh, I don't know how this is gonna go. I'll let you know, I'll be back. So I'm all done, I got my cleaning. I do have to come back Wednesday because I have two fillings that need repaired. One of my newer fillings and next to it, a tooth with an older filling. So they're gonna repair both of them and um, stabilize the fillings, which hopefully will mean that I don't need to have um, a root canal or anything, because
because we don't, you know, get infections in the teeth and all of that stuff. So let's fix the fillings. Yeah, I'll be back Wednesday. Okay, it's just turning out to be a weird Monday. It's not a bad Monday. It's just a weird Monday. The dentist didn't go too badly. I do have two fillings that need fi fixing. I'm going to go back Wednesday for that. Um, one tooth is probably going to eventually need to be crowned, but, you know, let's try to fix them first and not, like, have to have a root canal because, you know, been there, done that once, and yeah. Anyway, um, then I came home and I... Um, been doing some purging of embossing powder and glitter. My little box down there, you see that? It is full, including a Tupperware container of UTE. I just, I don't use it anymore, to be honest, people. Like, rarely do I emboss anything. And when I do, I don't use UTE. Description. So. Um, and then I got an email from Samsung, part the Samsung parts people, which is our refrigerator is a Samsung. The lid on one of the um, pull-out bins broke, and so we ordered a new one. I ordered it, I received it, we installed it, it's all good. That was like two weeks ago. I just got an email, they're sending me another one. Yeah, so that's weird. <laughs> Using up some resin and some of the glitter um, before I put it in the purge box to do a rainbow tumbler. Um, that's coat number one of the glitter and glue. Um, I didn't do a base layer of paint on it um, this time. I think the last two times I did, I did do a base layer of paint, acrylic paint in the same rainbow colors. This time I didn't bother. So we'll see how it turns out. I don't know. I'm going to let it dry overnight and then I'll put some more glue and more glitter and do two layers of glitter and then we'll do some resin. So we'll, we'll see. It's an experiment. I had the stuff. We might as well try it, right? Um... Got the uh, final coat on that. Whoops, where are we? Where where is it? There, there it is. Final coat on that tumbler right there that needed to be fixed because it had a crack. I needed to put one more coat on it so it's spinning and drying. And I've got some. Don't want to make y'all dizzy. On the ironing board, I've got some more resin stuff. I uh, made a mold last night of some buttons, so we're trying making resin buttons. I have a little bit of resin left, probably enough to do maybe one more set of buttons and or the tumbler. Probably not both. Um, so we'll see how those buttons turn out and then we'll work on the tumbler. I'm not going to buy any more resin right now because I'm not using it and it's turning yellow before I'm having a chance. So I do have some UV resin down there. Um, I don't know if it's good or not or if it's dried up in the bottle. I guess we'll find out at some point when I get to there. I was able to, sorry, you're going to get dizzy again purge enough that well, that little space right there under this shelf had stuff in it under it and it was yeah anyway it's empty now well, I'm gonna leave gonna leave it that way I like it empty <laughs> so anyway it's all good but you know I've got too much stuff and it's got to go all right I'll be hey back guys, it is Monday 505 I wow what is with my hair um <laughs> I am obviously in the kitchen and I am working on some homemade chicken pot pies and got it going over there years and years ago, like in, what's the date on here, 2012, a uh, very good friend of mine and former boss Cindy Simmons um, and her boyfriend, then boyfriend, then now husband, gave me uh, Wolfgang Puck well, pie and pastry baker and I haven't used it as much as I would like over the years but when we moved I fully intended to use it a lot more and so I pulled it out today Ooh, quiche oh I love quiche um and there's some recipes in it and things I'm using the chicken pot pie recipe that's in it um, with my own filling, I had some leftover barbecue chicken, some potatoes, some rice, some peas, shallots, arugula, homemade chicken broth, garlic salt, garlic pepper. I think that's all that's in there. And then I just heated it up until things were uh, reheated and cooked and not frozen and all of that stuff. And that's, that's it kind of looks like dog food, but trust me, it tastes really good. Um, I just... Um, cook that up and I, I'm using that for filling and uh yeah they're gonna be very good I do have this little teeny tiny 
piece of pie crust left. So I'm gonna see at the end if it'll let me just cook a little piece of pie crust, you know. Anyway, I think we're gonna go walking. I'm also watching on YouTube. I turned her off, so because I was gonna do this and see, I'm watching costuming drama on YouTube. And um, I'm so tempted to message her and tell her I know exactly where her P.O. box is because it was walking distance from my old house. But I don't want to scare her and be a stalker fan. So, but anyway, she is a really talented seamstress and costume maker. And I'm watching her video on Sewing Regency Short Stays Part 2. I don't make costumes that much anymore, but it is fascinating. And I like to sew, I like sewing, so as much as painting watercolor and mixed media. So there you go. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. All right, so we're headed out for a walk. I've got my mask just in case. I got eight little pot pies out of a bag of leftovers, some peas and random things, and the pie dough that I had. No, I didn't make the pie dough. Miss Pillsbury helped me. Because, you know, she's, she's, talented. she's better at it than I am. So anyway, they turned out pretty good. Um, anyway, we're going to go get some steps in before we chow down on pot pie. And uh, yeah, we'll be back.
Hey guys, so if you're watching this clip, you've seen the clip of me doing some more purging and filling up two more mystery boxes. I will have um, details in the Etsy listings for the two mystery boxes um, in, in each individual listing um, with a generalization of what's in the boxes. Um, but one is full mostly of glitter and embossing powders and the other one has like stickers and salvage and scrapbooking paper, basically. There's a little bit of other things in each box, but basically that's what's in them. Um, anyway, hello, it's Tuesday afternoon. I almost said morning, uh, July 7th, I think. Um, I almost said January, so you know, Corona brain. I wish I could blame that on that, but I've never been good with dates, y'all know that. Um, anyway, so I got the purging done this morning I wanted. I moved things around a little bit in the art room. I got a second coat on the rainbow glitter tumbler that I'm working on. And um, I got all the social media checked up on. I've had lunch already, mail came, like it's been good so far. So we're gonna go back upstairs and check on things a little bit, maybe do some stitching and yeah, see what else we can get up to. I'll be back. Okay, that was interesting. So we did a test of uh, YouTube Live and that was successful. I changed out a couple of cables so that I can move the webcam oh, and microphone from here over to there for live streams, uh, which we will start doing soon, maybe once a week. I'm not gonna commit to that right now, but I will be putting out a schedule soon. Um, I got another coat of glitter and then a final coat of glossy Mod Podge or decoupage on the rainbow cup. So now it's just gotta dry and then I'm gonna let it dry overnight really good and then I'm gonna put it on the turner and we'll, um, use up probably most of the rest of the resin, if not all of the rest of the resin covering the cup. Um, if there's any left over, I'm gonna leave the button mold out and I'll make some more buttons. I did find this. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what it is. Pencil shavings or crushed rocks or, I'm not actually quite, quite sure. So if we have any resin left, then I'll put it in some resin and make buttons out of it. I'm not actually, well, I don't know what it is, so. It might be crushed rocks, because I know I crushed a lava rock a while back to add to some paint. Made it a real pretty red color, by the way. Um, I think that's it for the moment. I'm gonna plug my mouse in, because it's gotta be charged. And I think I'm gonna go downstairs. I might start stitching that stupid bunny project that's down there. It's a Chris Christmas bunny. I'm not super excited about doing it, can you tell? But it's gotta get done. So, all right, I'll be back. All right, husband's headed to the gym. I'm headed for a walk. I'll see what I can see and get some pictures along the way. There's some exciting stuff coming up, but I'll talk about it. Okay, in. so two things. Well, a few things. I forgot a mask but hopefully I can stay away from people, so it's not an issue. Um, so I had a choice between not having a website anymore at all going forward, or moving the site to a free host um, because my old, well, current website is an online store, which I'm not using it that way. It's expensive. I, everything's over at Etsy. Etsy's easy. It's not cheap, but it's easy, and I'd rather be easy. So, um, take that how you want, I don't know. So my daughter, who does graphic design and all that stuff, is going to be helping me move the site over. So at some point you'll see uh, when you go to the website, a coming soon uh, picture, you'll notice um, a little bit different domain name. It's We're going back to my old domain name, which is just my name. So I'll be changing it everywhere. And we're gonna be consolidating, I think, some of the Facebook art groups at the end of the year. Um, I'm still gonna be doing daily, monthly prompts and things, but we're gonna be changing it up and doing it differently. Um, 
maybe new people coming on board. We'll see. And I'm going to go back to doing some live broadcasts. We did a test today. So, you know, in the meantime, I need to go get some steps in. And I have a dental appointment tomorrow to get the two fillings fixed. Hopefully that goes well. And, uh, yeah, one thing at a time, right? All right, I'll be Hey, back. guys. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning, July 8th. I only know that because I'm headed to the dentist. I have to drop off an Etsy order first, and then afterwards, if I'm not feeling too much like crap, I've got it. I need to go to Rite Aid. So, um, I've got a mask in the car, a hand sanitizer, and all that stuff. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> Thank you, Terry, for the Etsy order this morning. That was great. It was a decent size Etsy order. I put a couple extra um, bonus things in there, some of which I always put in the box. Uh, if you've ordered from me, you know what I'm talking about. And then one sort of little extra bonus thing I'm putting in with people who are ordering scrap packs from me. And Terry did that, so. Uh, in fact, I've got to make some more of what it is. So anyway, I'm not going to give it away, but okay. So the good news is they were able to fix the two fillings in my mouth. And as you can tell, my mouth is, my face is like all numb. The bad news is if I have any more symptoms in those two teeth, then I'm going to need two more crowns and a root canal. Yeah. Fun times, huh? All right. I'm going to go get some errands done and then go home and can't eat anything till this all wears off and so yeah all right I'll be back Hey guys, what a day it has been. So day. it is a gorgeous blue sky day out. My jaw hurts from the dental work I had done earlier. I'm hoping these fillings work. We can put off a little longer crowning and or root canaling the two teeth or one tooth. Well, there's two teeth, but anyway, we won't get into that. We're gonna go for a walk right now. Uh, it's a little bit late to be doing this. It means we're going to be eating dinner late, but again, my jaw hurts. I might be eating scrambled eggs because yeah. So we're going to go walking and see what we can see and I'll bring you with us and I'll try to capture pictures of wildlife, but y'all know I'm stuck at that. So we'll find out what happens. I'll be back.
guys, I don't think I vlogged all day. It's 5.31 p.m. on Thursday. We're getting ready to go to the grocery store. There's Fred. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I was chatting with my friend Lisa Swank, and yeah, it's been a good afternoon. Uh, my teeth feel great, by the way. My jaw's not sore anymore, and I've switched my skincare up a little bit, and I'm using all um, Cetaphil products. Um things that are very gentle and not going to irritate your skin and this is already looking better already so anyway we're going to head over to the grocery store and try to get our shopping done and hope hopefully it's not too peopley but i guess we'll find out anyway get into the house for a little bit and have it not involve a doctor's office i'm all for that all right i'll be back we're getting ready to leave i'm waiting on fred and look who's in the driveway. Bambi came for lunch. Hang on. Bambi's eating my bushes again. Tang nabbit. The corn bowl's probably empty. She's a bit bothered by the fact that we walked out the front door and got in the car. I think her only question is, where's my corn? So maybe when we get home, we need to fill the corn bowls. Yep. Okay. All right. We'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday morning, July 10th. It is my friend Mike Deacon's birthday. Mike, happy birthday. Um, I am obviously in the car. You know, it's never really good when you have to do a three-point turn to get out of your own driveway. <laughs> That's what happens when my husband parks my car in the garage. Anyway, um, headed out to mail off some Etsy orders. I've got to check on the P.O. box. You know, sometimes the day starts out all right, but then it turns out it sucks. <laughs> Partially my own fault though for speaking up in a situation with my family. Not my husband and daughter, they're fine. Um, that I knew wasn't gonna probably ultimately do any good. So what was the point? But I did anyway. It is what it is. So, you know, anyway, I got an Etsy order in, so we just dropped it off. It'll get picked up tomorrow. Kids are coming for dinner. I think we're barbecuing chicken. It's a beautiful blue sky out. And I don't know if we're gonna go for a walk later or not. I hope so. And yeah, we'll try to be better about today, right? All right, I'll be back. happy Saturday it is Saturday July 11th 207 p.m. according to the computer I'm transferring some video clips from um, the cloud from my phone basically to a file in one of my external hard drives for all of the 30 and 30 paintings because there are a couple of them for the patrons over on patreon that I've screwed up the editing for and if you're one of you are watching this I'm sorry I fixed them as soon as one of you all let me know. Um, thank goodness I saved all the clips, but I'm going to be taking them off my phone because that just seems way too dangerous to me. Uh, and then as soon as I get all the files transferred, the clips, I will check all the remaining videos before Monday. Um, so the next day or two, if there's any issues with those videos, y'all let me know. Um, anyway, so I'm going to... Um, check all the videos before Monday. I'm going to start filming the final few um, videos maybe this afternoon. I'm not actually sure. I am all set up back there. Set up, kind of. The table, yeah. I'm set up. Table's a mess again. Dying more fabric. Um, oh, I want to show you all. So I've been practicing with dying fabric and slow stitching bits with things I have already or things that are cheap, right? Cheap or free. Now I did do green with some, we talked about this, I did it with some leftover inks that I had, acrylic inks mostly. And um, that worked really well. This, see that? That's turmeric 
from the spice aisle at the grocery store. You could just pick up turmeric like at your local dollar store if they have it there. And look at that color. Now I put it into a large, I have a couple of these large jars. This is the one that I'm using here. It was filled to about here with water and then I put a bunch of white vinegar in it and some alum, mixed all of that together, then added a whole bunch of turmeric and then mix that all together and then sh I just shove, I just shove the bits into the jar and I leave it, leave it sit for at least 24 hours. That was only sitting for a day, that first batch that's over there. That was just sitting for a day. Um, and that's the color I got. So yay, um, it's drying. It'll lighten up a bit as it dries and change color a little bit as it dries. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy. This is some coffee fabric. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna be looking for a DIY for blue dye next. And I was doing some internet search and some, one internet site said black beans will dye things blue. Really? I might have to try that. If y'all have any tips or tricks or things that will dye certain things, certain colors that are cheap or free, like organic -y kind of things, not chemicals, like food or plant material, let me know. Anyway, coffee does this really nice brown coffee or tea. And depending on how strong the coffee how is how dark or brown, this pink color that you see is the camellia flower dye that we've done. I didn't soak these in here as long as some of the others so they didn't come out as pink. Um, with the camellia flowers, the longer you leave it in there, the pinker it'll get. When it's fully dry, it's about like this, like this really pretty sort of dusty pink color. Um, and then the coffee and then the turmeric. Hello. Yeah, that's great. So anyway, yeah, that's what I'm up to today. I am currently transferring all those files and then we'll see where I get with that. Oh, and Bob has got to make more wooden spools for y'all because... I think I only have one left in the Etsy store and I have somebody who wants a whole bunch of them. So he's off at the hardware store buying wood. If it's not one thing, it's 10, right? All right, I'll be back. Everybody. I forgot to close this week's vlog last night, so here we go. I hope you've had a great week. It's been an interesting one. The more the apocalypse drags on, the stranger the weeks get, the more stressful certain things get. Um, as you all know, because I said in the vlog, I had some dental work done this week, and hopefully what they worked, what they did works for a little bit at least. I'm probably going to need to crown both teeth and, and root canal, maybe one of them. Um... I'm hoping to put it off a little bit and if I do have it done I'll probably do like I did last time right before the apocalypse happened and try to get him to do both teeth at once and just go in and do it one and done rather than each tooth on a separate day. It's, yeah. Anyway I hope you've had a good one. It's been fun. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Support the free content if you can. Um, there's a bunch of different ways in the description below. Um, you can shop in my Etsy shop. You can um, support me over on Patreon. There's free content for patrons over there. Um, a bunch of different things, so check it out. And your other favorite content creators here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups, I'm sure most of them that I know of all have ways to support them. So check out their video descriptions, and if you can't figure out a way, go ask them. I know they'd appreciate it, especially right now. Don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and we'll see you later. Bye, guys.